No more dogs on my bed. How? Operant conditioning. Extinction style. Two puppies grew into two adult dogs, obviously. It was beautiful, awkward, and sometimes smelly. Dogs on the bed, a previously reinforced behavior, is now causing constant sleeplessness and back pain. So I now seek extinction of this undesired behavior. Classical conditioning is based on innate evolutionary drives and operant conditioning involves wider behavioral changes due to reinforcement. Behavior is a function of its consequence. Thorndike's Law of Effect. What? Let's take a look at an example. For example, if a dog poops on a carpet, we can either provide reinforcement so the dog does it again, or punishment so the dog stops. Both reinforcement and punishment can either be positive or negative. Punishment is often effective in reducing the frequency of a behavior, but comes at a cost. The problem with punishment is that there are many problems with punishment. Learnt fear, learnt aggression, learnt depression, physical and psychological trauma, imitation of the punisher. Alternatives to punishment, anyone? Anyone, alternatives to punishment. Okay, so we have response prevention, extinction, and various forms of differential reinforcement. For this example, we're going to use extinction. Hey, not that kind of extinction. Hang on. Extinction, withholding all reinforcement for a given behavior. One out of four had a problem with this new arrangement. Maybe it was the extinction burst that created the problem. Stimulus generalization, the tendency to respond to similar stimuli. And that he did, the lounge. Stimulus discrimination. My dog learned to discriminate when different stimuli were near my bed, me and my child. Extinction can be a long and challenging process, but eventual if done correctly. If you would like to know more about the variables that affect the rate of learning and unlearning, pause the video and have a quick read.